What's up, everybody? Let's talk about how AI agents can help generate leads from your very own website. Often enough, one of the worst lead magnets that people have out there is book a call with me. But what if we could take an AI agent and be able to generate value for your client or anybody that's on your website so that they can get value from you, you don't have to put any time or energy into it, and then you can start to then warm them up through a lead nurture sequence. Now, if you're trying to figure out how to do a lead nurture sequence, I had a previous video on how to do that. You can watch the previous one on that. But today, I'm gonna show you how you can use a combination of ChatGPT, Make.com, and OpenAI, the API backend, so that you can make your very own AI agents that creates customized quiz reports for your clients on your own website. So if that sounds interesting, stick with me and let's get into it, shall we? All right, so this is make.com. Right here, what we're gonna first start with is we're gonna first start with a set multiple variable module. So we go here. This is what we're gonna do in lieu of an actual form being created. I'll show you how to make a form a little bit later, but just right now so we can move through and test the system out. We're gonna have the typical first name, last name, We'll just say email, and then we're gonna go inside of here, we're gonna put in quiz answers one, two, three, and four, but let's go figure out what quiz we wanna write. So let's just say we have a quiz, and say I want you to create a quiz for a business coach that helps uh, real estate agents build their business. And we'll say make it uh, five questions max. Cool. So now what we're gonna do here is ChatGPT is gonna be uh, going through here. Right now we have these five questions that we have here. And then we're just gonna use these five questions right now as part of our quiz. So we're gonna go inside of here, go to tools and make. Uh, I'm gonna put in, what is your biggest challenge in growing your business? How would you rate your online presence in social media? Let's add another question inside of here. What is your primary method for generating leads? Four, how comfortable are you using technology? And the last one here is what would be the biggest benefit of your business of having a business coach in your career? All right, cool. So let's just say that we have these variables right now like this that are, have been saved. There we go, just like that. Now the next thing that we're gonna want to do in terms of setting these multiple variables here is we're gonna wanna connect to OpenAI, ChatGPT. So if we go into OpenAI, we'll go inside of here, we're gonna go and click create a completion, we'll do this, and the model will select, is we'll use the Omni Mini. I'm gonna copy and paste a user template inside of here, or a system template, just like that. And you can see these are variables that we now have access to on the side, but I just put this inside of here. You are a helpful email writer. You're, you've gotten received the summary of a quiz and you were to write the email and report within the markdown language. For HTML, only use these elements. Now, these are different elements that we can use inside of the, for the email so it looks nice and pretty. And we say do not include any signatures or sign offs because what we want is we just want the report right now. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna feed in a result inside of here by going into the user side. And I am going to paste in some information right now. Here's what we put inside of here. Here are the results from a survey to see if a company needs business coaching for the real estate company. I want you to create a summary of the possible opportunities for, the, for growing their real estate business with an invitation to book an appointment. And this is where we're gonna to start to include some of the informations. Last name, Fakerton. Email, Ivan at fakecompany.com. And then what we can do here, just to speed this up a little bit, say, I want you to act like a real estate agent and fill out this quiz by first listing the question and then their random response to the question. All right, cool. So now what we're doing, we're having AI populate this for these questions right here. So we can grab this just like this, put this back inside of here. All right, and so now we start to have these questions inside of here, just like this. All right, and number. 
perfect. We got this inside of here, just like that. We're gonna feed this back in the chat GPT, and we're gonna say this. You are a helpful email writer. You just received the summary of your quiz, and you are going to write an email report in Markdown language, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're using this quiz right here to now start to generate this report on this side. So now we can take this and we can say, this is how we want the assistant to respond to it. Now we could do more training with this, um, but I just wanna show you just a little bit of what this would look like. So now if we were gonna go into here and go into the user side, we can start to feed in all of the details here. Name, last name, email, and five, just like that. And in here, we can put in some fake information. Aaron, Abbott, email, Aaron at aaron.com. And then inside of here, we'll just randomly start to grab just some of these other selection choices that we'd wanna have in here. We'll say time management is an issue. Which one is it not an issue? How would you rate your current somewhat needs improvement? Cool. Just like that. We're gonna go into here. What is your primary method? Let's just say referrals from past clients. Because everybody says referrals inside of here. And then we're gonna go into here is how come with the technology? Let's just say you're very comfortable. Great. And then finally, let's just say accountability to stay on track. Let's just say that. All right, now we've gotten that. We're gonna hit save. Let's let's run this and see what we get. See what this turns into. We can look at the choices, messages one, role assistant. Cool. That is looking pretty good. Now what we can do is we can take this and we can use this markdown HTML. We can feed in the choices from chat GPT just like that. So we have it populated. And the next thing that we can do is we can send an email. So if we go to here to email, what we can do is we can create an email, send email, and say yes. And then here what we're gonna do just for this is we're gonna add in my own email address just to make things simple. We're gonna say it's going to this email. And then inside of here, we can say, hi, and we'll put in the person's first name. We'll say, your report is ready. And now inside of here, what we can do is we can go inside of here, hit messages, hit content, and then hit okay. Folder, where do we wanna save this folder? It's probably, let's say we save it in all mail. Cool, great. So we're gonna test this out right now to see what this looks like. So when we go to hit run, it's now going to ChatGPT, taking that quiz, turning it into a report, converting that into Markdown, and then sending that as an email. Now, if we go over here to this email here, we can see, hey, Aaron, your report is, re is ready. And we can go, hey, thank you for participating in the quiz. Here's a summary of your report. And you go, here's your biggest challenge, time management. So we have that inside of here. Your online presence, presence primary lead method is this, comfortable with this. And then biggest benefit from coaching, Express is would be having accountability being on track. Okay, cool, awesome. So now we've been able to create this report just based off of them filling out that quiz. So that looks good. Now you could always have this automatically get sent inside of this email if you wanted to by going inside of here. We could include inside of here if we wanted to my information, say Dylan Watkins, and we could say Dylan at DylanJWatkins.com and then anything else that we want to include. Now also we could do this in HTML and have this be formatted in Knockdown, but then we would save that. So whenever this message goes out, we have that inside there. We could also include inside of here, additional information like book me at, we'll say, I don't know, at DylanJWatkins.com, right? So we'd have a little sign off tag here at the end of that. Now the front side of this, how do we actually make this into an actual quiz? So we have this saved here. 
that's actually relatively easy. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, but one of the easiest ways to do this really is if we go inside, we can go to type form, create a new form, copy and paste questions import from Google Forms. Now let's just do create from scratch. And then inside of here, we could put in all of the relative information. So we have contact information. We can go inside of here. And if we wanted to do this at the contact, we would then turn off, say the phone number. If we want to turn off the company name, we can add in more content like this inside of here where we can go into short to long questions. And then we just copy and paste these questions up over and across. So what's your biggest challenge? Going like that. What we do is we copy that like this. We go inside of here, paste like that. We hit duplicate, duplicate again, just to get five in here. Well, I think I have six, delete one, go across like this. And then we just copy these right in here, open AI this across. Now we could always have this be more detailed, more thought out, more, more focused on what their actual needs are, how to talk to your customer or clients. What is it that they're looking for? What levels do you want to put them at? There's so many things we could do with this, but I just want to show you how quick this is to be able to generate a report using a combination of AI and also type form and make. So we have all these questions inside of here. We hit publish, just like that, copy link. So that's cool. We have this being opened up like this. Boom. We go inside of here. We add in a type form module. We make sure that this thing, let's just change the name of here instead of my brand and type form. We're gonna call this, what well, this was, biz coach real estate. Save. Cool, we have that saved. And then inside of here, we can watch responses, add the hook. I call this biz coach real estate. Click that form, click okay, just like that. We'll add a little sleep module so we can give it a chance to sleep before it freaks out. We'll put a two second delay on that. Now that we've gotten that, now we're gonna go type form list responses. Now inside of here, we have nothing inside of here, so nothing's been filled out yet. And so because of that, we'll go ahead and there we go. If we go to fill this out real quick inside of here with this branded type form, we can say, we'll call it Eric Smith at Eric at Eric is awesome .com. What's your biggest challenge is we'll say not enough leads. What would you rate online presence? Minimal or say men, not enough posting. What's your primary method of generating leads? Referrals. How comfortable are you with using technologies? Very comfortable with using technology. What is your biggest benefit of having a business coach? Account. Cool. So when that happens, that actually gets run through on here and it gets captured and then brought over here. Although this wasn't turned on right away. But if I go inside of here, we go to list responses. This response just came in. So I know that response just came in. And we can see them inside of here. If we were to, let's just disconnect this and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. Unlink, unlink. I'm gonna go here. Instead of a limit of 10, we just want one. Click okay, cancel, run once. And if we look at this right here, we can see that we have these answers of all of the information that we wanted. So now all we need to do is we can map this right to here. And instead of having this placeholder information, we can start to map these things out right now. So we can see, okay, this is, it looks like this is Eric Smith. I do wish I could scroll this over a little bit though. It would be better. There's the email. And then we go biggest challenge right here. How would you rate your online minimum? Cool. How do you get your business referrals? How comfortable are you? Very comfortable. What do you need is accountability. Awesome. So now all of these have been mapped over to this whole system. So now all we need to do, for example, and I have this in here to just go to this email right now, my Dylan J. Watkins. If we want to change this out, all we need to do is pipe in the email of this person over here, or we can pipe in their email that's coming in from here as well. But just right now, just to show you how this would work, is I'm gonna have this here, I'm gonna hit save like this, 
and we are going to run this one more time as if a lead just came in. AI takes a look at that, analyzes it, sends off that email, and now when we go to open this up, we can see, hey, Eric, your report's ready. We've got the information that they've got going on here, some information about them. And then here at the bottom, again, we could use some better formatting at the bottom of here, have it use HTML or anything else and say, hey, book me at this information, do an href and that jazz. But you can get the gist here. This is how you can build this out so that it happens. And if I wanted to move this over just like this, whenever anybody fills out a form, it will automatically bring them right through here and fill this out. And so it'd be on response. So I would unhook that. And this is just watching. This is just immediately as data arrives inside of here. All we need to do is to turn this on. If you want to get extra fancy with this thing, another thing you could do as well is you could plug into something like a Twilio just to show you this. You could create a message, connect automatically over here, send a message, phone number, pick whatever phone number you, you want to send it to. I could do this. I could enter in my cell phone number. And then inside of here, create a body. I can say, hi, Dylan, a new lead just filled out the form. And then inside of here, we could put in name, Eric, last name, Smith, email, and then anything else that you actually did want to include. And then all I need to do would be to put in my phone number right inside of here and then hit save. And then we would be good to go to receive that. Oh, I actually have to enter in. Okay. One, four. And then I'll do five, 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 five. It's not a real number, but you get the gist. So then all we need to do is run that and we could send this across to be able to also get a notification through a text message so that you could respond even quicker, better, faster. All right, everybody. So that is how you can use OpenAI, make.com and ChatGPT to be able to create a quiz, uh, build that out and send that off as a customized report uh, to anybody that you want to have uh, fill out a quiz on your website so that you can get them into your opt-in funnel. So thank you so much for watching this. I had a blast making this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And until the next AI agent automated tutorial course, many blessings, much love, and I will catch you all on the other side. Take care now. See ya. Bye.